Tonight I'm going to be using my new Simply Ming 6.5 quart pressure cooker to make some baby back ribs. And I just have a very small package, just a couple of ribs here. We're kind of just going to give this a trial run. So we're going to go ahead and cook those. I'm going to be using the rack that you can use on the steam feature or if you just want to elevate food on the pressure cooking feature. So let's go ahead and get started. Remove the lid. Insert the rack. And then to that, I'm going to add just one cup of water. It's the minimum really that you need when you're using this pressure cooker. And I'm going to go ahead and get my baby back ribs in there. And they actually are frozen. So I'm going to really give it a good test run here. So I've got those in there. Make sure they're on the rack the way that I want. And I'm not going to get fancy today. Like I said, I just really want to try out the unit and see how it does. So I'm going to put some of my barbecue sauce right in there on that. And any favorite barbecue sauce you like. Something you made, something you bought, doesn't really matter. Now if I was going to use baby back ribs from fresh, I would pressure cook them for about 30 minutes. But when you're doing frozen, you want to add some time. So I'm going to add about 10 minutes to that. I mean, I love, by the way, just how easy this lid is to operate. It's actually even easier than my Cook's Essentials. So I'm going to go ahead and get the plug going. Very exciting, our initial use here. Plug this in. You want to make sure the condensing cup is there, which it is, and that will catch any overflow of liquid. Oh, we have power. So we're going to go ahead and get this set. All right, so we're going to go ahead and use the pressure cook setting here. And it defaults at 40 minutes, and I'm not going to adjust it up or down because that's what I want is 40 minutes on this since it's frozen. I'm going to press my start button. And you notice the first thing you do is you see that the lines are cycling. And that's letting you know that it's starting to build up to pressure. And when it does get up to pressure, then that's going to stop uh, circulating here. And you'll see that the time will start counting down from 40 minutes at that point. So we're going to go ahead and let it get its thing going on here. And then we'll see you uh, when it's done. All right, it's been 40 minutes and it's gone ahead and I let it naturally depressurize, which takes about another 15 minutes. And as you can see, the little indicator tab has disappeared down into the lid. And I've turned it to vent, but nothing's really coming out. So that means that it has completely naturally depressurized. I should be able to open the lid, which I can. Look how easy that comes off. It smells really good. So I'm going to go ahead and get these out. And we're going to see how we did. actually feel pretty tender and they're coming right almost off the bone. They could probably just get a fork in there and a knife. Oh nice. This doesn't have much meat on it so. Alright I'm gonna put this down and get a fork and a knife and we're gonna see uh, what we've got here. Go ahead and put a little bit more barbecue sauce on the top of these ribs. Now the way I like to do ribs in a pressure cooker is just as I've done. I put them on the rack above the liquid and sort of let them steam with the, the sauce. And I usually would put a little salt and pepper on them and such too. Uh, you can also actually put the ribs in the unit and then put the barbecue sauce up over it so they sort of stew in it and that's perfectly fine. It just depends on your preference. So I'm going to go ahead and actually give this a little try here. Oh wow. That is tender. You can actually see the, the moisture and the juices in there. They're not dried out at all. Mmm. That is really good. So the machine did a great job. I love the nonstick ability inside of that um, the, uh, container there. Nothing stuck. I actually was able to just wipe everything right on out. And the ribs came out great from frozen in 40 minutes. That's amazing. So this was actually a thumbs up for me. 
and I'm going to go ahead and make a salad and some potatoes and have these for dinner.